Welcome to Tiny Rails, the fun game with a train. I think this is episode it's somewhere in the late 50s, 58 possibly. And I have been busy between the last episode and this episode. So let me explain. As my train comes into Taichung City, Taiwan. Okay. I am currently in I think it's called Asia Asia some Asia North. And I'm heading for Taipei to continue the story. But between this episode and the last episode, what I have done is, I'll zoom out, I have completed a lot of the station building in Africa, or West Africa. To complete that area, I went over to North America to go get a load of plastic windows and lumber for the station building that I need to do in Africa. And then I did a lot of circuits around Asia North, fulfilling things like Beijing's and Tianjin there and various other cities resource requests. As a consequence of that I ended up with over 5 million in cash. I also, even though I haven't been there yet, I looked at Western Australia, Western Oceania as Oceania West I think they call it, and just bought pretty much and upgraded as many stations as I, I could easily do. Even though I haven't been there yet, I also did some resource stuff in Japan. I've been traveling a lot. So, I have a lot of lot of cash. I also have, as a consequence, got these three trains, which are the, the three cars, which are on the front of my train, up to their maximum level. So, first thing I'm going to do is swap out these three cars with three other cars, which are level one, which I've obtained at some point or another, because they're the cars that are mainly on screen, so they're the ones I tend to change. If I can find three cars which are not already level three. Ah, here's some. Okay. Any more? Okay, okay, that's a, the train frame car. I think I got that from a uh, a, a, a factory. Don't know what this is. A luxury passenger car. The seven seven seas car. Also, I think I got from a factory. And. I'll go with a water tanker because I tend to be carrying a lot of cargo, so they're useful for cargo. So that's those three cars swapped out. Yeah, I'm not sure I particularly like this one with the flashing yellow light on it. The other thing I want to do, because as I say, I've completed the checklist for Africa West by building all these stations and doing everything else. I want to collect that which gets me a new factory, 50,000, and opens Africa East. Yeehaw! Africa East is now unlocked. So if I go back to the map... Okay, Africa East appears to ha require a lot of train, uh, train station building, and doesn't contain a depot unfortunately. Because the nearest depot is either there, once I open the Middle East lower up, or is in Europe. I'd really like a depot in Africa. There may be one in Africa South or Africa Centre, but I can't get to it yet. However, what that also does is allow me to find the new train, which is that one, the GMAM 4122 engine and put that on my as my engine then find the caboose and that's the correct caboose so now I have a new engine and caboose so three new cars and engine and caboose so far so good I'll just have a quick look at the market while I'm here no I don't particularly well I can actually give you some of my diesel which I picked up along the way oh yes I also emptied out my depot is now down to the 3300s for 
used capacity out of 4,000 because I took a trip to Alaska and dumped a load of watermelons up there. I dumped a load of holy water and meatballs in Africa. Well, I say I dumped, I sold. And various other things that were in my depot, I got got rid of at the correct stations. Or if I had no station that wanted it, I sold it just to get my depot capacity back to having some spare space. Okay, so now I have a new engine, a new caboose, three new carriages, and a lot of stuff done, a lot of money, but let me zoom back in. I now want to go to Taipei to continue the story. And whilst on my way to Taipei, one of the other things I want to do, and I'm doing quite a bit this the start of this episode, is I've got all this money. Okay, and I'll wait till it clears the obstruction out the way of the track. And sets off again. Thank you. Right, oh, wrong thing. Always keep hitting the wrong thing. That one. I figured, what the heck, I might as well spend the money on doing upgrades. It's going to take a lot of my money, but now I've reached the maximum weight I can use. I'm now going to see if I've got enough money to do the maximum amount of passengers. Just about. <coughs> and... I'll upgrade the caboose as well. I may or may not have enough money to do this all the way to the end. Just about. So now my train has every upgrade possible on it. Okay, and I've reached Taipei and run into Sato again, who's one of the cops. Okay, our experts say Thornweaver, which is the hacking collective that I'm after, is in... Hulan Burr, Mongolia. We can get up there and stop them before they do anything else at TrainCon. We need a distraction. Drop us off and we'll get in position to pounce on them when they least expect it. That's Shibata, another cop. I know the perfect distraction too. Wait for Okada or Huan to make a huge announcement. Very well, let's get out of here before Thornweaver gets wise. We need to we keep this offline until the mission is completed. Okay, so let me go back to the front of my train, and while I'm here I'll have a look at the market, so I do want the chopsticks, and the pocket games will be useful in Oceana, ah, bamboo will be as well when I get there, assuming when I ever get there. Now I'm going to Mongolia by the looks of it, which is somewhere up here, let me zoom out see if I can find it. Oh, of course, it's not going to put it on the map. Duh. Because I haven't collected the reward for stopping at Taipei. And while I'm here, I'll collect the money from the jobs that completed along the way to Taipei. Any more? And just replace them with quickly with three other jobs. Yep, that one. That one. And that one. Right. So now, hopefully I can find out where I'm going. Up there. Not exactly a short little trip. I was hoping to get this hacker collective all done, busted and move on from this part of the story by before the end of the episode, but with the distances you have to travel in China or Asia, Asia Center I think it is, whatever it's called, it's a little bit challenging to do it in a timely manner. Oh, I've completed another job. Not overly excited, but my oh, my maximum speed is now 328. It used to be 325, so that's kind of nice. I'm just looking. None of these new train cars I've added do anything money-wise. Yeah, your cargo... You help with cargo and whatever that is. Oh, wait, that's your weight. Oh, and just general entertainment by the looks of it. And your passenger and toilets and comfy seating. And plus one speed when equipped during the night. Okay, so my speed will go down when the daylight arrives and I can see, see it in daylight.
Yeah, my train is happily going on. The nice thing about having done a lot of circuits around parts of China is I know a lot of the resources that I require and where to get them from for that part of the world. And I can remember most of the ones I need in Japan as well. There's yeah, some Asia East as they term it. Because Asia... Asia North or Asia, Asia Central, whichever one China is part of, is more than just China. Just like Asia East is technically more than just Japan. Now here we are at Okinawa. I do want the wood windows. I don't have what it wants. I can actually use pretty much all of this. And I've got the space in my train, so I'm going to take it all. And just go straight out of there. I might as well collect the money for the jobs I've done as I just spent most of my money. Making sure my train was fully upgraded so I don't have to do any upgrades in the future. One less thing to do. And here's my wonderful GMAM 4122 engine, which is also a steam engine just like the last one was, so it means I get to play with the smoke. And this is what my carriages look like in daylight. As I've completed a couple of jobs, as I can tell from the noises it's making at me. And this is what my train looks like in daylight. What's that? That's a cargo car, a cargo car, a freight car, it's a passenger car, luxury passenger car, a WAP4 is a passenger car, a double decker passenger car, another double decker passenger car, a toilet, a modern outhouse. An oil tank, two oil tankers, two coal cars, and two flat freighters, and a caboose, which has about 50,000, oh, 60,000 in it, out of the 500,000 it can now carry. I still make 90% or so of my money from doing jobs rather than from passengers or freight or cargo. The amount of rewards you get for cargo is just, it's not significant in the greater scheme of things and passengers they just don't make a great deal of money yes I could adjust the amount of passengers I carry the comfort they have and how much I'm charging them this one's coffee it's one of those days I'll just take it all and I'll worry about it later I can always sell it at certain places if it if it becomes a problem and I will collect the money from the job or jobs I've just completed which are mainly mileage jobs which pay 5,000 a time I either take collect cargo from obstacles jobs or mileage jobs for the most part every now and then I'll take one that says deliver passengers if I'm in or near the area where it wants me to deliver the passengers or collect this resource if it happens to be a resource that I know is in the area I'm in but for the most part it's mileage and cargo jobs because they pay well and are the least hassle you're gonna do the mileage and you're gonna find the obstacles and collect cargo from them anyway this one's chopsticks I have a load of chopsticks strangely enough and I'll just take everything that's got I'll sort it out later I'll either use it or dump it at a depot if it has a use. For example, if I look down the list of stuff that's currently on my train, there's nothing that says it has no... Oh yes, so I've got a hand fan, a replica sword, origami and kendama that have no current demand. Wood windows have no current demand, but I need them for building stations. So, come to the next station, I will dump the, these four items because I have no need to carry them anywhere when I get to Seoul. Uh, this is the downside of doing so many mileage jobs is it constantly alerts you that you've completed jobs. So you need to collect the money from them and then go get some more jobs. That one will do. But like I say, that's how I make 90% of my money. Oh, wrong one. 
Okay, replica sword I don't need. Origami I don't need. Kendama I don't need. And I think it was incense I don't need. Yes, I don't really need a lot of the other stuff as well, but I'm taking it because I don't have any tulips, do I? Alright, well, we'll just take everything again. I've almost filled up my train. So, next station I probably won't take everything that's there. Oh, looks like it's time to clean my train. And now it's no longer night time. My top speed is back to 325 miles an hour. Rather than the 328 it apparently is at night. Unless I misread that and it was 326. Which is entirely possible with me. Okay. Nothing I particularly want, so I'll just take the shurikens. Because I know where they go, they get to Hiroshima, I think. to Shenyang and yes I do do apologize for the horrible pronunciation only three stations away for or four if you count the one I'm going to and there's an obstacle in the way well that's my train filled to capacity and some more stuff added to my depot and more importantly that Earned me 45,000 from jobs completing just by that one obstacle. Oh, I made that 50,000 from that one obstacle. So, time to replace those jobs. And I've just completed yet another one. Possibly more than one. Uh, no, I don't want those. That job will do. Okay, which job did I get? Oh, I completed two more. Another 10,000 to add it to the, the coffers. So, time to add two more jobs. Right. One of the other things I, in my trips around Africa, back to America, and all through China and various other places, I did manage to get some more of the photographs it wants. Ah, okay, this wants tea. Do I have any normal tea? Apparently not. Hmm, alright, I'm going to get rid of the soy sauce. Because I actually want the chopsticks. Or well, most of them, anyway. And keep going. Yes, yeah, so... Out of the 191 photographs that are possible to take, I've currently got 121, so almost two-thirds. Which, considering I haven't been to, well, I'm guessing about a third of the world, is the reason I probably haven't got the other third yet. Although there are some which I just won't have noticed. Or I mean doing something or letting my train run as it went past certain places where photographs could be taken. But it's kind of nice to be about two-thirds of the way through the photographs. As we head towards Changcheng City. Or Changcheng, China. Don't know why I call it Changcheng City. Just obviously had the letter C on my brain. And you want coffee? I'm not carrying any coffee. Might so I'd like to take the pears and the chopsticks. Well, I don't need the hand fan. Whilst I know the eggs can be useful down in Australia, that's about the only place. Well, let's dump some other stuff. Dump that and that. And the cotton. Right. I want the pears and the chopsticks. My mistake. I didn't actually notice, or didn't pay attention to it. Oh, it wanted coffee. The next place wants lotus blossoms, I think they are. 
And then the place I'm going to wants corn, which I'm definitely not carrying at the moment. But memory says me correctly, I think it's that city. That wants just a few more chopsticks, like 61 more chopsticks. But also there wants chopsticks and there, I believe. So that's three places I need chopsticks for. But it's the place in China that wants another 61 chopsticks, which I'd like to complete that resource demand just because I like completing resource demands for various stations. It gives me a sense of achievement. Plus it does help with the percentage it tells you your, you've, how well you've completed an area. This one, lotus flowers is what they're called. Let's sell those and let's take the pears because they're something I also need, or at least some of them. There's something else I'm working on. And off we go to the destination for the story. So I might as well clear up the jobs that are outstanding. And replace them with new ones. And do. I think it's just complete another one. Just as I was about to finish adding new jobs, it completes another one. Okay, so 10 jobs are currently active. 252, or well, 240 odd miles to go. So let's give it a burst of speed. And the story will or well, this part of the story will almost be over. And I'll see where it wants to send me next. I'm hoping Oceania West, or Western Australia basically. Because there's a depot right in the middle of Western Australia. And I bought most of the stations. So I should be well, at, well on my way to completing the checklist for that area as well as having a nice time with being able to put stuff in and out the depot okay here we go with the story Saito Shibata you take the front position I'll cover the back exit Lance when you guys hear Juan or Akada talk they'll be making a huge announcement that should cause Thorn Weaver to try and hack Traincon again I really hope this distraction works. Oh, I expect a few people will, will get blindsided by this announcement. Okay. So, what, I've dropped them off. I've now got to go somewhere else. Beijing, by the looks of it, for train con. Okay, my train is full. I'm not going to pick up anything here. Well, Beijing isn't that far away. This much I do know. I reckon I should go that way. I disagree, I'm going that way. Only because I didn't come the, the direction I'm going, so... Gives me chance to potentially drop off more cargo. But as I head this way... As I'm coming close to the end of this episode... I will see what I can get by the way of new cars. Or different, hopefully different cars. Nope, I got a luxury food cart, <coughs> excuse me, from the gumball machine. With the rare roll, the standard roll got me a Hawaiian car. Two cars I've already got. So I'll try another rare roll. Maybe I'll get lucky. Nope, another water tanker. And a stand another standard roll. A behemoth cargo car. Oh, at least that's new. Took four attempts, but I didn't end up with a new car. Oh, it looks like my train wants to be cleaned again. always nice to get new cars so when I replace these these three cars I have a selection of cars I can choose from and the neon light has come on this car again the train frame car okay this one wants Japanese spring water I've got a little bit of that I'm gonna leave the space open continue onwards Uh, let's 
What's that one want by the way? I can't get oh, strawberries, I don't have any of those. So really doesn't matter which way I go now. But I'd like to get to Beijing. Yes. I believe based on my on the knowledge that Oceana chapter 1-1 is locked until I complete Asia chapter 2-15. And this is 2-13. There will be two more things to do after this. Or at least one and then say it will say complete the checklist for the 2-15. I'm not sure. I will find out in the fullness of time, I'm sure. Another job completed and I'm about to complete yet another job. So I'll leave it this page open until this mileage job here for 50, 1,553 miles completes. Then I'll go select a couple more jobs. That one and that one. I have no idea how you pronounce the name of this town or city. It wants rice. I've actually got some of that. There you go, have some rice. Anything I particular? Oh, you've got chopsticks. I want chopsticks and pears. Off we go. I might as well see how much money's in the caboose. 36,000. Yeah. Considering I spent four and a half million doing upgrades and bits and pieces always helps to replace it with some cash. Oh, obstacle. Uh, yep. And that completed a collect cargo job. Well, she managed to complete three of them. So you're not going to complain about that. Placement jobs up and running. I'm almost at the station before Beijing. And I'll head into Beijing, which is one of the stations who I fulfilled their cargo requests or resource requirements, depending how you prefer to, prefer to think of them. Let's have a burst of speed. It wanted kimonos, a thousand of them. It took me a while, but I did managed to obtain a thousand kimonos and take them to Beijing. So I know I don't need a ca the cargo that or any cargo for Beijing. I suppose that's one of the, the nice things about the way my mind works. I've got a pretty good memory for stuff that I need to think about or deal with. Yeah, this does have chopsticks, but I don't have. Oh, I can dump you. Thing up my cargo that is unwanted. No, I'll take a couple of chopsticks then. Is because I work with mainframe IBM mainframe computers and the software that's on them. And when someone phones you up at and says we've got a customer with a problem at two o'clock in the morning they expect you to be able to immediately think and know what you're doing that my memory does tend to work well for stuff that I'm working on whether it be in a game or actually as part of my job I've got a terrible memory for I like I couldn't tell you what I had to eat yesterday my memory of stuff like that is complete utterly useless but things I'm working on, I tend to be able to remember quite well, which isn't why I know I, you know, I need chopsticks, I need pears, uh, so, and various other resources there so for various other stations. And the fact I know I've already done Beijing and the station after it, which is just slightly to the east of it. 
Ah, here's Sato again. What's up, Lance? Did you find Tendo and Mitsu? That's Sato. I thought we left him in the other place. Yes and no. We have them pinned down in Mongolia, but this that was Sato. But Sato and Shibata did a distraction to catch them off guard. Okay. Slight problem with the story here. The person that spoke before this was Sato, who we just said is in Mongolia. They got the wrong person. Huan, what kind of distraction? I need you two to announce your new company and probably your love for each other to the world. What? That's who it should have spoken the first time, Okada. It would be a great distraction. It would probably call Thornweaver out too. Exactly what I thought. Well, I'm up next to present the new tech for Cherry Bloom. Huan, are you ready to do this? That didn't take much persuading, did you? I've been waiting a long time to do this. Here we go. Attention Traincon, I have an announcement to make. Huan and I are getting married and we're starting our own company called Cherry Flower. Nato. Nato? What? What? Hanzo. What? We want to make robots that work with humans, not for humans. We want to create robots that augment the workplace. Hey, check out the monitor. Tendo, too little, too late, Cherry Flower. Our newest hack is already working its way through your robots and soon your factories will be shut down. Then you will have to hire our... You're under arrest, Tendo. The feed cut out, the distraction worked. That news you just announced was just a ploy to help the police, correct? No, father. This is what we want to do. I don't know what to say, Okada. You don't have to say anything, father. Just be happy for us. Oh, isn't young love wonderful? I can work on that. I'm sorry, Hanzo. I didn't mean to blame you for the hacks. Let us repair the corporate feud between us. I'm sorry too, Nato. I was a fool to believe you would hack us. Let's get some coffee and talk about this new union between our families. Well, that went better than I had dreamed. I was expecting a thrashing. I'll never know why my father told me to break up with you. Maybe they just wanted us to focus on being the heirs to their corporations. Really, we just wanted to make our own fun, cool robots. I think we should catch up with Sato and Shibata before train con ends. Let's go! Okay. Let's see. The market for Beijing, I have completed, fulfilled the cargo demand. So, nothing I want to do cargo-wise here. I do want to collect the reward. And now it wants me to go back to... I don't want to go to Hulun... Yeah, wherever that place is. Which I didn't think was in Mongolia. But apparently it is. Okay, it's in China. I thought they told me it was in Mongolia. Well, I will get there next in the next episode. Otherwise, this episode will drag on for way too long. So I'll wrap up the conclusion of the wonders of Okada and Huan, Huan, however you pronounce her name, in the next episode. And then it will see where it takes me from there. As always, I hope you enjoy to one degree or another. Even if you just want to see what the story is because you've never gotten this far in the game before. This is a fun game. It's a good time waster. But it definitely does take a chunk of time to get this far. And hopefully I will see you down the tracks for more of Tiny Rails in the not-too-distant future. Cheerio for now.